Hold it. Hold it. Back up. Back up. Hold it. Nice. 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 And put the controller down. Mark is not playing. Mark is not playing. Let's go. Stand up. Stand up. Call of Duty's followed storylines and uh, really had a, a dialogue. It really felt like you were experiencing and you could appreciate what some of these soldiers actually went through. Call of Duty 4 just did everything right. The game played well, the mechanics played great, and online just was so smooth. Call of Duty 4 is the, the, the perfect Call of Duty. When Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare released, it was this refresh. That game really changed the Call of Duty franchise forever. Call of Duty 4 is still probably the most popular game amongst the pro players. Uh, a lot of players will be amazing online, but when they come to a LAN and you know the atmosphere is here, they, they know they got to perform, there's thousands of people watching them, they kind of crumble. I didn't even know this whole world really existed. I did have friends that would play in LAN tournaments in high school, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And I thought it was an amazing thing that they were able to go to these tournaments and compete. <laughs> In, in esports as it is today, if you're good enough, you will be spotted and you, you will be led up that path. One team in America, Team Impact, they made around about $550,000 in the space of, I think it was a month and a half. A lot of managers don't realise that it's not about trying to tell your team how to win, it's trying to get them so they can play their own game. The coaches are there to say, guys, what are you doing? Pick this up. This is our chance. We're going to win this. Try and rally the troops, if you will, and get them motivated for the rest of the game. Mr. X is one of the best coaches in the game. He has experience in three different first-person shooter titles. He's probably the second winningest player on the MLG Pro Circuit. There's a lot of pressure that goes into it. You get what you put into it. say thank you to him uh, right now and um, they're always there for him they know they never let, let him down even if he has bad bad days on a bad period so yeah it's really it's really beautiful to have people like that behind him the call of duty endowment was founded in uh, late 2009 by bobby kodak uh, bobby really wanted to find a way to give back to veterans um, you know as a group that has certainly inspired many of uh, Call of Duty's games. Shannon came back from Iraq, he was a combat infantryman in, in the Marines. Um, you know, had some issues when he got back, uh, personal, financial, professional issues. And one of our nonprofits linked up with him, Higher Heroes USA. And they really helped him kind of straighten out and fly right. Call of Duty is just 
massively growing. Every single year, more and more players are coming into the scene. Every single week, we're seeing more activity on our online events.